G'day. Today we get to do a little unboxing video. What is it that I'm unboxing? Well, me, I'm a little bit of a uh, PC person and I can't say I've ever owned an Apple device. All right. There's nothing wrong with Apple, there's nothing wrong with PC. The Apple versus PC debate's been going on forever and each has their own positives and negatives. So we're not going to weigh into any little debate about stuff like that. But today I'm unboxing my very first Apple product. Hey, for me. Okay, so this is a iPad Air. An iPad Air 32 gig Wi-Fi model. So there's a few different models. Um, each one is different, and everybody has their own idea on what they might want out of an iPad. So for me, um, we pretty much just wanted access to an iPad, the apps that come uh, that are available on an iPad. And well, um, also we wanted um, a tablet. Um, so I would have preferred an Android tablet, but there was some applications that we wanted to be able to access that were only available on the iPad. So I got an iPad. Let us have a look at what is in the box. So, the box comes with a picture of a very small angled looking iPad. It's a very nice looking box. It has a little bit of information which tells you what it is that I've purchased, which is an iPad Air Wi-Fi 32 gig in silver. It has a serial number, part number, and it includes the tablet, a uh, lightning to USB cable, a USB power adapter, supports Wi-Fi Bluetooth, and that's about it. So... Let's open it up. So I have my, um, whatever you might call it, we call them Stanley knives here in Australia. Utility knife, whatever you want to call it. To open it up. It's always fun trying to open something and then put it all back together like it was when it was brand new. Not that I'll be doing that today, but you know, this box. There's a nice uh, Density to it that you could almost do a tapping video with it. Ooh. Little tab to help pull it up. So the new iPad 2 Air is a little bit lighter. Surprising how heavy these are. So we guess we went for this one just for a sort of price storage size. And I have a USB power adapter which we will 
try and pull off the plastic. I love Apple design, it's just so beautiful in that um, even the plastic that comes off the item is very good. So generally, um, Apple products have uh, beautiful designs. Um, that's the one thing that sets them apart. And what do we have in here? We have a piece of button that tells me a little bit of information. So it says we have a sleep button, slide switch, volume buttons, USB connector, and a home button. We have some information when you want to. Ooh, we have some Apple stickers. Have to keep those. Um, and we have a lightning cable. So I believe these cables have like a little bit of circuitry inside where when you buy the cheap generic ones, they don't always work. Um, I guess that's. Um, makes you have to buy Apple accessories. So um, that's one of the other things about Apple's and their their power connectors for their laptops. They're like magnetic, and you know if you trip over them, you just they just pop out, and then you just pop them back in. And that's one of the really really good things I love about Apple laptops. Let's see, is there anything else inside? It's stuck in there. And so we're just going to leave that in there. It's a lesson. Not a bad box. And that leaves us with just the iPad. So there's uh, not much to look at in the box, but that's okay because the only thing we really want is this. Oh, a bit noisy. And then we have our iPad Air. Let's see, I think this button turns it on. Ooh. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go through the setup process of creating an Apple ID account. Um, great tablet. Um, gotta love the design and the aluminium construction. I've had to open um, or try and fix these before. Um, hello. It's in a different language. Uh, so we can go through this. So we're English Australia connect to a Wi-Fi network um, so I'll keep that one to myself um, so I'm just joining my network all right so now it's setting up 
So the one thing about tablets is trying to hold them. Very smooth, beautiful edges. Location services. I believe location services is where they can um, track the Apple product. I've seen it where, um, you know, if you lent your device to someone, you can actually track where it goes. Yeah. Looks like I have to create a Apple ID or I can skip it. So I'll just skip it just for now. I'm not sure I'll be able to set it up again later. A friend of mine has an um, iPad and he uses it to remotely control his Pro Tools computer. And the first thing that, that strikes you about the iPad is just the screen. That's the, that's the thing that sets Apple apart is they use like a, an IPS panel that gives really, really nice color reproduction. And, you know, there's, there's kind of like three things that set an Apple apart. A, the screen. And the screen is a uh, very important part of a computer system because A, it's what you look at. So it's one of the most important parts of a computer system. And PCs, especially the laptops, suffer very badly from the displays. They're garbage. Um, the other thing is the design and construction of the unit. Um, Apple design is, well, we'll just say, beautiful. Um, and third is the operating system, which is really, really good. And the beauty of a Apple device is the software only has to support like five devices, an iPad, an iPhone, an Apple computer and the few different models that they have. They don't have that many issues because they don't have to support a billion different configurations. They only have to support a handful. And that's one of the, the beauties of the software. And it's also easy to use. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting my hands, let's not say dirty, but nice and clean with a beautiful display. Wow. So many applications. So many applications. I'm looking forward to having a little play with some of the games. But anyway, thank you for watching my um, little unboxing video. And I'm sure I will go put this on charge. And uh, that's right. Got to work out how to turn it off. Um, I think you press this thing. No, silent, this thing. No, I think I just put it to sleep. That's okay. Um, so yeah, it's my first Apple device. Um, I need to get some type of casing for it, which I want a... If you give me any suggestions, suggestions right now would be very helpful. I need a kid's safe casing for it for my little uh, boy. And I want something, A, that if you drop it, it doesn't break, um, B, I need it to be able to sort of stand upright like this so that he can use it and it stays upright and then if he knocks it off, um, it doesn't break. So it needs to have like some type of stand behind it. So I'm looking to buy some type of kids safe protection for the iPad um, because one of the reasons we bought it was for him and uh, we're going on a plane flight and 
we kind of wanted to be prepared that we had something to keep his attention focused on something else other than making lots of noise. Thanks a lot for watching and I look forward to bringing you more.